my name is Patrick Dean, and I want to talk of you, talk to all of you on uh, Facebook Black Belt in Relationship fan page. And just first of all, the uh, number of people and the response to the fan page has been just phenomenal. I didn't know, and Nancy didn't know how uh, we were the response we were going to get when we started, and it's just been overwhelming and, and awesome. So I, I wanted to give back a little to you guys for all that you've given to us in a way of talking about a question that many of you have asked in our seminars and in our trainings. And I wanted to uh, state the question and then I wanted to talk a little bit about it and give you something to think about today and work with today for those of you that are into and want to create extraordinary relationships. The question that I often get, uh, whether it's in the uh, seminar Dojo of Radical Honesty or our, our Tele Web Seminar, or it's in our live seminars, Relationship First, it sounds something like this. I want an extraordinary relationship, but my spouse uh, or relationship won't cooperate with me in what I want to do. How do I, cha how do I change that? Or how do I change my relationship? Well, I think that the there's many answers to this one and the one I'm going to give you is just my point of view and you may have a better one and uh, or a different solution anyway as we go along so we can all just wrestle with this question but basically what I think is that um, the most important relationship you have is a relationship of course uh, your spiritual relationship but then your relationship with yourself is very important and that you want to have an extraordinary relationship with yourself so being on a journey of personal development. Being on a journey of personal transformation is one of the most important journeys you can be on and you never want to stop that. And sometimes that takes the form of the seminars that, that, that are offered or things that you can do, many different kinds of seminars um, that you can do or workshops or being with people or reading books or anything that you want to do to keep yourself on that journey. It's so critical to do that and I'll tell you why. Because in answer to this question about my spouse won't cooperate or my relationship won't cooperate, what you've got to think about is that how hard it is for you to change yourself and think about how hard it is to change other people. So actually what you do is if you work with yourself on this and improve who you are and what you're willing to bring to the relationship, what you're going to find is that no matter what, it affects the relationship and the other person, even if they don't seem to show it, and even if they don't seem to be moving in that direction at all. I remember coming home from uh, a training one time, and I wanted to have a much better relationship with my father, and I knew there had been a lot of resentment and a lot of holding back between us, and I wanted to come from this place of honesty, which we're always talking about. And so I said, you know, I sat him down and I said to him, uh, Dad, I love you. And I hadn't said that in a long, long time. And the response I expected, uh, the response I got was completely different than the response that I expected. He actually jumped back about four feet and looked at me in the eye and goes, you know, what's wrong with you? Or where have you been? Or what cult have you been involved with? Now, when I said, Dad, I love you, that wasn't what I expected. I wanted him to uh, say he loved me back and to give me a hug and all that kind of stuff that I thought would occur as a result of going to these seminars. But what really occurred for him was his surprise and the fact that, that I was trying to uh, change and get him to do something right there in that moment. That was more uh, in the space than actually the, the experience called Dad, I love you. So what I found out was that if you, if you keep going and that you not only say I love you, but you express your experience for the other person, honestly, over a period of time, that there's a shift in the relationship. My father and I got very close, but it took a lot of patience and a lot of time to move past all of these stories that we both had about what the relationship was like. So the answer to the question, or, or an, an answer to this question about my, the other person won't cooperate, goes back to the fact that you can change a relationship by, only, by changing yourself, and the only way to do it. 
You can't require another person to change them. You have to be able to willing willingness to have the patience and the honesty to keep bringing and keep bringing and keep bringing those things that you want. I mean, some of the things that we talk about a lot are what do you want in a relationship? And people can list many things that they want from their relationship. Oh, I want more love. I want more affection. I want more giving. I want more. I want them to take out the 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 trash. I want them to. And there's a whole long list of things that we want from other people. And when it comes down to the end of that list, the question is, are we willing to bring those things that we expect from them, uh, are we willing to bring that to the relationship ourselves without them needing to return it immediately? So you can shift a relationship, absolutely. But what you will need is patience. And you will need to stay on this journey yourself. And you will find that the relationship, uh, relationship shifts. And in a way, thank God for that. You know why? It's because we're out to make a, we're out to, to uh, make a difference in the world. I think if you're on, on the Facebook uh, Black Belt in Relationship, you want to make a difference in the world. And so the way that we make a difference is not requiring everybody to be like us or requiring everybody to think like we do or waking people up to what we think is the truth, but is to live that truth and live the fact that we're students all the time and be out there being who we can be, the best we can be, like the you know the old thing about the uh, recruiting people for the army. <laughs> and in a way, I guess we are recruiting uh, for this better world. We're recruiting to affect ten thousand relationships. We're recruiting to uh, to have less divorces in this country and less separation, because I feel like it'll affect the. It'll make a huge difference with the children in our life. And the children are going to take over soon. So it's important for us to leave a legacy for them to step into. And one of the ways to do that is to continue the work. Um, Nancy and I are doing our dojo calls every other Thursday, uh, excuse me, every other Tuesday. And we just invite you guys to get on the, those calls and to enjoy uh, the community of people who want to make a difference in the world. And remember, I think one of the greatest attributes you can have in this whole process of relationship is patience. You know, patience with yourself and patience with the other person. Have a great day and wrestle with this question yourself. You know, my, this is just my point of view on it. And uh, as again, always, I love to hear from all of you, whether, whether it's email or comments on the Facebook. Um, again, have a great day.